Hey everybody, on today's Smart Robot Review, we're going to talk about how NASA attached a helicopter to the Mars 2020 rover. Also, NASA has a really cool contest for all you kids out there, so stay tuned. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics, fantastic tech, and science from around the world and out of this world. I'm your host, Elias, and today I have, again, my co-host, Sandy. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So today we have another exciting episode. NASA finally attached the helicopter they've been working on to the Mars 2020 rover. So what'd you find out? I, this is really exciting, actually. Um, on August 28th, so just very recently, um, engineers at the Jet Propulsion Lab in California, JPL, attached a twin rotor solar powered helicopter to the Mars 2020 rover. Um, this helicopter is going to be, if, it, if it's successful, it's going to be the very first aircraft to fly on another planet. That's really cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Um, it's going to be attached along with a Mars helicopter delivery system to the belly of the rover. Um, and it's going to stay encapsulated in there until they find a suitable place to let it go uh, and conduct test flights near the Jezero crater where the rover's going to be landing. That's cool. I yeah. see twin rotors over there. Mm -hmm. Yep, twin rotor and it's solar powered, which is really neat. Oh, um, nice. This is un especially unique because Mars's atmosphere is so thin. It's extremely right. thin. So any typical drone or helicopter like we have here would just sink. It wouldn't go anywhere. Right. Um, so they have managed to find a way to create this helicopter that's going to be able to fly hopefully on Mars's atmosphere. Um, they call it a high risk, high reward technology demonstration, um, which basically means if it were to fail, it wouldn't affect any of its mission. Um, it's not going to be carrying any tools or any science uh, experiments or anything like that. It's just going to be testing whether an autonomous controlled flight in Mars's environment is even possible. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. well, well, I reviewed an earlier concept of this rover. Yeah. So if you remember back, uh, it was a year ago, I talked to AJ Nick, one of the founding roboticists over at NASA Kennedy Space Center Swampworks. This is a lab that develops us a technology that's going to be used for space exploration. So they developed an early version of this uh, Mars Prospecting Flyer. The idea behind it is we want to go to hard to reach areas, look for resources like craters, caverns, fly in, take samples and then bring them back for analysis. So like the one I looked at and I'll include the link down below uh, for the video if you guys want to check out about the NASA prospecting flyer. So that one was designed to work with uh, gas. Yes, small mm -hmm. thrusters that would release cold gas. We'll be able to go to those caverns uh, uh, and look for resources we can uh, utilize we can extract so like if you've ever seen wally it's like that right the that's part right where he uses the the uh, fire extinguisher yeah. to propel himself forward small thrusters that give him a little bit yeah. of a boost really cool. so uh these cold thrusters uh, work on a vacuum uh but then what do you do when you're in mars i'm sure those will work in mars as well uh, but it seems like um uh, the scientists over in NASA have figured out they can use uh, propellers i see a twin propeller design um just enough to fly around so yeah. because I mean Mars is a vacuum but not a hard vacuum right so. right there is some atmosphere it's just not very much so that was really <laughs> cool and exciting I'd love to talk to him about this helicopter at some point yeah but, oh that would uh, be amazing what else did you find out um well so if this one is proven successful if they're able to get this one to fly and and navigate it where they want it to go then on future mars missions they're going to be able to send successive um helicopters only these will be able to carry small tools cameras things like that so that it can do some real exploring and maybe some excavating of sorts things like that um and will be able to see, or, or astronauts will be able to see what's in those hard to reach places like deep caves, deep craters, um, places like that. So, so it's pretty amazing. They're saying no tools, but I bet it will have a camera, at least one camera. Uh, on I don't board. know. It doesn't say on the on the in the article that I read on the um, NASA website whether there's going to be a camera, but mm -hmm. I I'd be kind of surprised if there wasn't. Right, it's got to have a camera. Yeah, I mean, at the very cool. least, the rover I'm sure will take pictures of the helicopter yeah. as it's flying. Say <laughs> cheese. And then there's an additional 
contest that we want to talk about. Yep, it's that's connected. related to this thing. Mm-hmm. So, so it's, it's talking about the Mars 2020 rover. Um, we mentioned before that on one of our previous videos that you can have your name sent to Mars on the 2020 rover. Um, but they also just recently opened up a contest for kids. Um, in grades kindergarten through 12th grade, you can enter on, um, we'll put the link down below, below, right? Yep. Um, so from now until November 1st, you can enter to name the Mars 2020 rover. Um, you say, you include the name that you want to name it. Can't be a personal name. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that one's going to make it. <laughs> it's been taken. <laughs> um, or E for that matter. Why not? They named the very first space shuttle the Enterprise. Well, that's true. I guess try it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. um, so you can submit your name that you want to name it. And then um, a short essay up to 150 words explaining why you chose that name. Um, and they're going to have finalists uh, and prize winners within different age groups, like K through four, five through eight, and nine through twelve. Um, and you'll be able to win. I think there's some STEM ebooks and some um, a Mars rover prize pack and oh, things great. like that. The grand prize, however, is a trip for you and up to four family members to watch the Mars 2020 rover launch from Cape Canaveral. That's the best. That would be amazing. I'm, I would love to be there for that. Uh, maybe they'll do another NASA social for that. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be incredible. Well, I can so, tell you. I that's have, a heck of a prize. Yeah, that's one of those things you have to experience. If you haven't seen a space, a, a yeah. space rocket launch, go. It's see life it. changing. <laughs> it's amazing. So, so yeah. yeah. Great. So I got two of these really cool NASA Bucks trucks. If you want to win one of them, you have to leave something down below. Comment. Leave a comment down below. Okay. Sounds good. And then email you. Perfect. So leave a comment down below. Tell us what you like about the show or what you don't like about the show. And email me at smartrobotsreview at gmail.com. Smartrobotsreview at gmail.com. I'm going to take the first two who email me and leave a comment down below. All right. So with that... Thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. If you haven't already done so, please click subscribe and click the like button. Share the video with your friends and family. That really helps the show. And uh, until next time, bye. bye.